Welcome to the 2020 video commencement of the Henderson County Early College High School. The format may be vastly different, but the message is the same. Congratulations, Class of 2020. You have finished your race and you have done it showing your true colors. At this time, you'll see videos from top early graduate, Caitlin Llewellyn, and valedictorian, Heather Pinkston. Welcome graduates, family, and friends. Thank you for not only supporting the graduates during this time, but each other. Although times are unusual right now, I am certain that this is something that we will never forget. Teachers, staff, faculty, administration, family, friends, and everyone imaginable has come together to help each other during a time where we can't even stand within six feet of each other. Not many students get to say that they got to do schoolwork at home for two months, but it did help that we got to stay in our PJs most of the time. To my teachers, administration, faculty and staff, and everyone at IHS, you have done an amazing job at keeping things running so smoothly. You have provided support and guidance despite all of the obstacles that we have faced. You have made sure that we have had all the help that we can imagine and supplied us with bountiful amounts of love. Thank you to the family and friends that have made it possible to get through this together. Our families have been there for us every day, and they're some of the only people that we can see on a daily basis, for better or for worse. Thank you to the friends that have supported us from afar and cheered us on as we, as we have been so close to crossing that finish line. Your support has guided us up until the very end. Make no mistake that we miss Mr. Honeycutt's dad jokes, Miss V's enthusiasm, Mr. Savage's travel stories, and Miss Coddle's Friday morning jokes but we have to do things a little differently around here to keep everyone safe. All of you have done an amazing job at keeping things running so smoothly. And to my fellow graduates, I am so proud of us and what we have accomplished. No one could have prepared us for what we would have encountered this year, but we have met it with resilience and amazing attitude. I know this is not what we imagined, but I'm so glad that we have made it this far. Although it may not be perfect it is something and i am so grateful for that no one can ever take away the memories that we made and the love that we have for each other thank you to everyone for celebrating our many years of hard work this graduation is something unlike any of us have ever seen and hopefully we won't have to see it again thank you for being here and i hope that you enjoy the program friends parents staff community members, and most of all, my fellow graduating class of 2020. I wish I could see all of your wonderful faces right now, but alas, this will have to do. I wish all of you a happy morning, or an afternoon, or evening, or whenever you happen to be watching this. Never would I have thought that I would be sitting here in front of a camera instead of in front of an audience, but at least it takes a little stress off my shoulders. I am extremely proud of this class, despite our ups and downs. We have taken this graduation with pride, honor, and a fighting spirit. There are countless memories that we have made throughout these years as peers and as friends that will hopefully be with us for as long as we can remember. And hopefully, the spectacular years that we've spent together will make up for the unfortunately subpar graduation. I know this has been a rough past few months where our last day of school was just another day and we said, see you after the weekend to each other but I have confidence that this experience will make us stronger than ever. I believe in each and every one of you, and it doesn't surprise me that you all have graduated with me. People will say that graduates this year have it rough. They may be somewhat right. However, this graduation is definitely one to remember. It will be one to tell your grandchildren, or your friends' grandchildren, that you graduated in the plague of Ought 20, and all the children will gaze in wonder at your perseverance to survive. But now, in the moment, it may seem selfish to have wanted a proper graduation among everyone else who is suffering because of this pandemic. However, I feel that we are rightfully disappointed. Graduation is one of the biggest milestones in one's life. You all finally did it, and I truly wish that we got the graduation that we deserve. I know many of us probably still want a graduation ceremony. I know I do. At least things can only start getting better, right? I can't believe that only a few months ago, we thought that the hardest thing that we had to overcome would be moving to a new building or us super seniors having our phones taken away during sophomore year. I still think one of the hardest things at least I had to deal with was some of our most beloved teachers leaving us. Miss Hill, Miss Franco, Mr. Coach Frady, Mr. and Mrs. Martinez, and last but certainly not least, Mr. Faraday. 
our early graduates here were one of the last classes to have Mr. Faraday's or the Martinez's classes, and I sure hope they consider themselves lucky. These and all of our other teachers and staff members were all such a big family at the school, and it saddens me to have to see them go. I know that I can confidently say that I'll remember them all for years to come. The staff has done so much for us students, and I doubt we'd be anywhere where we are today without them, despite having to say goodbye. We have so many memories to look back on and smile about. I'm sure many of us can remember Ms. Franco's Spanish days eating delicious Spanish food in class, or Miss V's beautiful songs to help us remember Spanish conjugations. And who can forget Mr. Martinez's crazy stories or him amazing us with his ability to draw a perfect circle. There was also his lovely wife teaching biology, who was basically like a mother to us and took us under her wing. Coach Fady might have showed us some tough love by making us do push-ups if we hit a light in the gym with a ball, but we know he meant well. We watched amazing movies in Miss Pierce's class and listened to her story times like kindergarten students. Mr. Savage wowed us countless times with his lab experiments, even setting one of our dollar bills on fire. Some of us really made some amazing and hilarious videos in Mr. Witt's class. He may have pushed us to do our best, but we know he really believed in us. And I certainly cannot get Mr. Faraday. He was like the cool uncle to us all, even if he wasn't afraid to call us out. Always working alongside him was Miss Willingham. She has always been with us through thick and thin, celebrating with us and crying with us. I don't know what we could have done without her, or any of the teachers for that matter. And I may not have had the pleasure to ever be in Mr. Honeycutt's and Mr. Morris's classes, but I'm sure the classes were still a blast. There were so many memorable moments in this school. I don't think I'd even be able to scratch the surface. We had an amazing DC trip where I can confidently say that our tour of the White House was just as exciting as our unexpected stop at the Walmart convenience store. I also can't forget our fall festivals, furiously smashing pumpkins along smashing our favorite teachers in the face with the pie, or our lovely memorable proms. I know I regret not going to any of the proms aside from freshman year, but I think the limo I was invited to was worth it. There were also the many fun events that Blue Ridge hosted. I remember getting excited to leave class early so that we could go eat donuts in the student lounge. I also remember thoroughly enjoying our talent show days. It was always something that I would look forward to. Even if you don't remember this speech, I hope you all will remember these years as much as I know I will. I wish to actually see you all again someday soon, in person, when all of this quarantining and social distancing will all just be some lame outdated meme. You have all earned your spots here as graduates, and more. Go do great things in your lives, as I know you can. I could not be more proud to be a part of the graduating class of 2020. Congratulations for graduating. Thank you, Caitlin and Heather, for your heartfelt words. As you have already heard, the 41 students that comprise the class of 2020 have seen many changes, including moving into a new school building and now not being able to go to the school building at all. Through all the changes, they have kept their eyes on the prize, the goal of graduating from high school. All of them have accomplished this goal, with 34 also meeting the graduation requirements for receiving their AA, their AS, or their Associate of Science degree um, from Blue Ridge Community College. At the beginning of each of our school years, we have a tradition, and it is to have a Welcome to the New School Year Assembly, where we also give out the theme for the year. This year's theme was True Colors, and the quote for the year was, a rainbow is not afraid of showing its true colors because it knows it's beautiful inside out by Matshana Loeo. I want you to know that each of you are beautiful inside and out, and it has been my distinct pleasure to be your principal. You are the early college. You are the roadrunners, and you are the heart of the school. As I walk through this empty building, it is depressing without you here. I look around and the memories start to materialize I remember Mr. Witt's social studies classes making potato video videos out in back of the multi-purpose room. And then I see Miss, video, Miss V's class video conferencing with people from different Latin countries so that you could practice your conversational Spanish with native speakers. I saw poetry being recited in Miss Pierce's class while students sat in a big red comfy chair. 
and students playing a bongo drum in Miss Martinez's class and rapping their term song. Remember the spirit weeks and cafe days with Miss Willingham and Miss Hill, and also our 2 g 2 Christmas parties. Memories then start to move to more recent events, Science Olympiad competition, both regional and state, with Mr. Savage, Mr. Honeycutt, and Mr. Morris. SGA meetings and movies in the TEDC building with Miss Heath and Miss Prince. Fall festivals with Mr. Faraday and Mr. Morris's Mardi Gras lunchtime dance. I laughed outright at the joy you all have brought to me, and I was not depressed any longer. It is true the school is not the same without you here, and I cannot wait until the day we will be able to gather, give hugs, and spend time sharing our future memories. Until then, I marvel at how your true colors of patience, kindness, dependability, and adaptability have shown through during the past five years and the past few months. Before COVID-19 stopped us from meeting together in this school building, some of the ways you showed your true colors were in the civic activities you took part in, habitat builds, canned food drives, coat drives, relay for life, shoe boxes, letters to armed service personnel, and blood drives, just to name a few. And in that time, you as a graduating class accumulated 5,341 noble service hours. Excellent job. Once again, I'm so very proud of you. You also showed your true colors when all of you were duly enrolled in college classes as freshmen, and all of you have at least 24 college credits. Once again, I'm very, very proud of each and every one of your accomplishments. At this time, we're going to have a guest speaker video by Blue Ridge Community College, College instructor, Sam Sonnier. Hello, graduates. First and foremost, I wanna say congratulations to you all. This is a big day, and I hope you're all taking the time to celebrate your accomplishment. For my part, while I didn't put on full regalia, I did feel like I owed you a, a tip of the cap by putting on the mortarboard, so that's my official congratulatory gesture, but I'm very proud of each and every one of you out there. Uh, I'm sorry also that we can't be there in person to talk uh, to share this moment. I know a lot of you are disappointed as well. This is a day you probably hoped for a long time to share with friends and family, to be able to celebrate together in person, and unfortunately, the strange times that we find ourselves in don't allow that to happen. Uh, normally, this would be the point in uh, an address like this where I might tell you a little anecdote or a little story that might offer some sort of guidance or some advice or a life lesson. And being a teacher, certainly that would have been something that I would have done under normal circumstances. But I think the circumstances we find ourselves in, ironically enough, might provide a more useful story to us, even though we are in the middle of it. And what I mean by that is I think that there are things that you can learn about yourself, maybe have learned about yourself in these unprecedented times. And I'd just like to take a moment to maybe reflect on some of that. The first thing I think that you have already shown yourself in this moment, whether you are aware of it or not, is that you are resilient. You crossed the finish line. You are a graduate. Even though we have had unprecedented adjustments and adaptations and circumstances to deal with during this time, you finished the job. You should look at that with pride and you should always remember that you have that resiliency in you. So when tough times come again, look inside, you have it. The second thing that I think that this story unfolding gives us the opportunity to look at is just what matters around us. What is the world like? Sometimes the world we normally live in is moving so fast we can't see the forest for the trees. We don't understand which is up and which is down. I think this time, because things have slowed down for so many of us in some ways, it allows us to see the world and to see what's real and maybe what's not so important. And that leads me to the third thing that I think this offers you an opportunity for, and that is to set your own course, to figure out what really matters, to discover, to understand, what it is and who it is in this world that you really love. Find your passions, pursue the things that matter. This whole time that we're living in allows us to cut through some of that other clutter that I talked about just a second ago and see the things that matter. And I know that those are things that you've probably been feeling. Make a conscious decision to follow those things. Set your course to the things that matter. 
Um, I think if you take the time to sort of reflect on some of these things, it'll allow you to understand your true colors and to let them come through. Um, so more than just congratulating you on the day and saying I'm proud of you for the accomplishment, I would also encourage you to take the time to figure out in these times how you can navigate the rest of your life in a way that will make you feel happy and fulfilled. So congratulations. I'm proud of you. And good luck to every, every one of you with everything in the future. The next video is of Cameron Patterson, the early college salutatorian, as he introduces the moment of reflection. Well, it's great to see everyone here, all six of you. And I'd like to shake each and every one of the graduates' hands, but that may prove to be problematic. Yes, it's quite an unusual time we're in right now, how things have certainly changed, but I suppose that's the theme of things here. In fact, it's been so long that I've actually been to this school that I got lost on my way here and almost drove right into the pond. May that duck forgive me. But instead of focusing on the present and the future, let's rewind and reminisce a little about the past first. You know, we've had a heck of a time here at the early college for five years, half a decade. That's quite a long time. And we've experienced so much and accomplished so much, as evident by today, or at least whenever you're watching this recording. Regardless, I know that each and every one worked hard to get here. And although, although we each experienced our times in different ways, we all share one thing in common, our shared history. For the most part, we all had the same teachers, same classes, and even same buildings. Yet I don't think it's too much of a stretch to say that each one of us can pick out moments near and dear to our hearts. From hanging out in the old study group rooms and our old building, to burning my dollar bills in Mr. Savage's, to filming skits for Mr. Witt, or even just playing video games in the commons in the new building. We all have moments that we will look back on with a smile. I know I had a great time smashing tablets and potatoes for our projects, as well as bringing a, a guitar to class every day. Yeah, I don't know how I got away with that either. Maybe it's because the teachers here are such genuine and understanding individuals. Yeah, I want to take the time now to personally thank all of them for always giving them, always giving us their best each and every day. Likewise, I want to extend gratitude to those that left our class too soon, from Ms. Hill, the Martinez's, to Mr. Faraday. And I want to welcome all those that arrived in between. But it's not just the staff that has changed, is it? No, we've seen a myriad of changes, an entire building, for example. And though it took some getting used to, we took it in strides and we succeeded. But what I think is one of the biggest changes is that we all got closer together. And they always describe it as a family here. And that certainly is true. We always have each other's backs. And it's always been great to go here. One of the few schools that I've never really experienced any kind of bullying excluding me. <clears throat> but I know we can all continue to thrive, just as we've thrived here, and that's the reason we've thrived here. Even during difficult trials and tribulations, we've seen great changes, and we will continue to see great changes as we propel ourselves into the future. But at the same time, we do not want to forget to look behind us, reminisce on the past, and appreciate those moments. And hopefully they'll bring us the confidence that these good times will always be around the next corner. So I want to wish everyone well and that each person enjoys a future just as bright and worthy of reminiscence as those moments in the past. Thank you, Cameron. Before the presentation of diplomas and junior marshal recognition, I would like to tell you a little more about the graduates. The class of 2020 has earned 2,354 college credits, 
26 out of the 41 are first generation college attenders. 20 of the 41 um, graduates are NC scholars. And 34 will receive their AA degree, their, their AS degree, or their applied science degree. And now for the presentation of diplomas. Now it's time for the Declaration of Graduation. With the power vested in me by the State of North Carolina and the Henderson County Board of Public Education, I now pronounce you graduated from the Henderson County Early College. Graduates, you may now move your tassel from right to left.
So now we are going to have a staff send off video, but before that, I would be remiss if I did not mention Blue Ridge Community College and all of their support that they've given us as our partner here on their campus. Also, I would like to rec recognize the hardworking and dedicated parents, teachers, tutors, instructors, and professors that encouraged and assisted the class of 2020 and who have shown their true colors by having flexibility, grace, and patience. Thank you for your dedication and belief in our students. Dear graduates, uh, I just want to take a few minutes to uh, just say how proud I am of each and every one of you. Uh, you've reached a tremendous milestone in your life. This is just the next step. So um, please take care and please remember that you'll always be loved. And I'm so honored to be uh, a part of your journey. And uh, if you ever need anything, you know, you can always call on your family. Hi, everyone. Uh, congratulations on this awesome milestone. I can't tell you how proud we are of you. Um, I just wanted to personally say that um, you guys have been my favorite class in the short time that I've been at the early college. Yeah, most of you guys were my first students um, in, that, uh, in that very first semester. So um, thank you for all you've done. I hope for the best for every single one of you. You all deserve the best things in life. And I hope that you'll keep in touch and congratulations again. Hello, I'm Sherry Heath and I'm with the Early College. The graduates of 2020 are very dear to me. Thank you for allowing me to be a part of your lives. Mama Heath wishes all of you a successful new chapter in your lives. You will all remain in my heart. Congratulations, class of 2020. I am so proud of each and every one of you, and it has been an honor to be a part of your high school career, even if only just for one short year. Now go on, get out there, and be amazing. Congratulations, guys. I'm so proud of each and every one of you. It just feels like yesterday when you were all joining the early college. And though you're moving on, please know that you will always be a part of this family. Remember that no one can bring out the best in you apart from yourself. No obstacles can stop you from achieving your dreams. So don't give up, but continue pushing forward. When you're tired of running, walk, crawl, or jump. But just make sure you're not stagnant. Guys, once again, I'm so proud of you. And congratulations on your graduation. Freshman year. Do you remember? Now you're graduates. Ben Wilson, Ethan Wisnett, Noah Tygleski, Efrain Torres, Caleb Stiles, Janessa Romero, Michaela Ritter, JT Riley, Tiffany Revis, Jenny Prue, Heather Pinkston, Alexis Perez Sanchez, Cameron Patterson, Leanna Knoll, Catherine Mosbleck, Fabiola Moran Torres, Yana Lobach, Kate Llewellyn, Isabella Justice, Zoe Johnson, Chase Hogan, Courtney Hill, Alexis Greer, Jade Graham, Emily Guerin, Cole Gambrell, <coughs> Wesley Fuge, Carly Fish, Julissa Cruz Vargas, Charity Crosby, Janet Contreras, Cassandra Cole, Stephen Chow, Jonathan Chacon, Seth Bishop, Jordan Bastian, Bryce Bailey, Madison Bailey, Vaughn Alberto. Congratulations, seniors. You did it. You reached your goal. Congratulations, seniors. Wow, it's hard to imagine or believe that all of this time has, uh, has moved forward so quickly. Um, your, this chapter of your life is getting ready to come to a conclusion, but yet another one is getting ready to be written. I would like to quote a quote from Plutarch that said, a mind is one that's not to be filled, but one to be ignited. So with that said, we would like to wish you 
best, best wishes. wishes. Congratulations, class of 2020. This will certainly be a class and a graduation to remember. I am so incredibly proud of each and every one of you. It's been a privilege to watch you all grow into such amazing young men and women. It's crazy how time flies. I can still clearly remember all of you, sweet, goofy freshmen over in my little classroom in the old building. I miss you all terribly, but I know that you are more than ready for whatever comes next along your journey. I wish you all the best and please come and visit us. We can't wait to hear all about your future success. Congratulations, we love you. Now go celebrate all of your hard work. Class of 2020, congratulations. You know, I'm an old fogey and I was thinking that class of 2020, especially with what's going on today, sounds like something out of a science fiction novel. But then I was also thinking that in those stories, the heroes, that would be you guys, spend the rest of the novel being awesome and overcoming all those obstacles. You guys have already seen so much. You had to change buildings in the middle of high school, share space with another school, new teachers, and now what's going on in the world today. But you guys are all awesome, and I know that you're going to be heroes and you're going to overcome all of this and succeed. Please come back and tell us. I can't wait to hear how your stories unfold. From the bottom of my heart, congratulations, and I love you all. Can't wait to see you again. Congratulations, Early College, Class of 2020. You have been a class that has faced many changes and challenges, both personally and at school. So as much as I hate our present circumstances, it almost seems fitting that your graduation would be a historical one. I have so enjoyed getting to know each one of you, even if you have given me many headaches in homeroom this year. When I think of your class as a whole, the words that come to my mind are personality, adaptability, and resilience. There are so many unique and creative individuals in your cohort with such incredible potential. As a group, you've survived a big move for our program and learned to adapt through, through your humor and resilience. All of you are strong and resilient and know how to overcome obstacles, and I'm excited to see what you all will do for our community and our world. I have loved being your school counselor, and I can't wait to see you all in the future and give you a hug. Early college class of 2020, Know that your Roadrunner family love you very much and we're so proud of you. Congratulations. This concludes the Henderson County Early College video commencement exercises for 2020. Thank you so much.